that clip I just showed you was the very first game, the very first game loading in the TF2. Team Fortress 2 is effectively a PvE mode right now. If you've never played TF2 or haven't played TF2 in a long time, you may not be aware, but there's a massive issue playing the game. Bots. Fully controlled AI that join lobbies. They're not controlled by anybody. Completely automated. That join the game and cheat. Attempting to make the game as unplayable as possible. Especially if you're not a TF2 player and you're just hearing about this for the first time. Imagine whatever game you were playing. You, you load it into a match and the enemy team was just full of AI, not people cheating, but AI bots. Robots, computers playing the game with 100% accuracy. How would you feel? Yeah, it would suck. And that's what's happening with TF2 right now. What has Valve done? The creators of this game, what have they done to solve this issue? Created more f***ing microtransactions. You know, the game is starting to go down, of course. And if the game was unsupported, I would be pretty mad. But the fact that the game is slumping into nothingness and Valve is still adding stuff uh, to buy, they're creating microtransactions to try to make a profit without actually addressing the main problem and making a functioning game, it's despicable behavior. Team Fortress 2 isn't the only game anymore. You know, you hear all the, oh, just let TF2 die. Well, Counter-Strike 2 is starting to feel it. And it won't be long until it spreads past that. I know Left 4 Dead, I believe, was having DDoS attacks. And Valve has done nothing. We need to do something. And there's a couple of ways you can help. But before I get into that, why should you help? I better lay out why. Why does this matter to you? First, like I said, they are profiting off this game and have done absolutely nothing besides put out a tweet two years ago to shut the community up. They've done nothing. Two. These hosters, and I think this one is the big one. If you watch the What Shows video, you already know what I'm about to go over. But apparently, the hosters have gone beyond trolling. They've gone beyond just making the game a little bit of fun. They've DDoS servers. They've doxed people. And they even swatted an individual for speaking out against them. Swatted. Have a SWAT team show up to their house, doxing people, having their information put out everywhere. And even I didn't notice this, but I've been awakened. This can't just be swept under the rug. This has gone beyond just a couple of cheating robots in a server. It's it's a big deal now. Because now there's people's lives at risk, technically. All thanks to these bottomisters. And imagine if that was you. Would you want this? No? Well then load up. And three, because we love this game. We don't want to see it just fizzle out like this. Especially when they're still trying to monetize the game. It'd be different if all support was cut. You know, it would suck. It'd be stupid on Valve's part. But the fact that they have the audacity to keep adding crates, it's abhorrent. So many nasty words you can use to describe this sort of system, this hostile behavior. But what can you do? The first thing you can do is not buy anything from the in-game store, the Manco store. And if you're dedicated enough, anything from Steam in general, I'm not going to spend any money on Steam anymore until something happens. And if you're a CS2 player or a Left 4 Dead player, or play Valve games in general, I recommend that you protest in those games as well. You don't have to take the extreme approach like a lot of TF2 players are going to, but goddammit, let's spread this like wildfire. Hurt them in the wallet, even if it's pennies. Valve doesn't want to lose money. It's something small. Two, probably the biggest thing, is spread the message. People need to hear about this. In the last Save TF2 event, we messed up by losing focus. This time, the focus is planted squarely on the bot problem. Remember, people, these are AI bots. These are not real people cheating in the game, 100% accuracy, ruining the fun for others. And like I said, if you watch the What Shows video, or even listen to what I just said a minute ago, it's gone beyond that. Personal attacks, crimes. So spread the message of Fix TF2, Save TF2, and make sure that everyone has a crystal clear understanding of what's going on. I want you to be able to explain it to your mother, right? I want her to completely understand the issue that's happening right now. Share video, 
share screenshots, in-game chat logs, share it on Twitter, make a video about it, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, wherever you can. It won't work if we don't have people on board with this. If there are people who are not committed to this, well then it's not going to really work. We need people to be willing to say, hey, we need this solved. And three, sign the save.tf petition. It's something small and easy. Be a part of this. Make it known that you want to see the game thrive as well, or at least not go down like this. Of course, the game is old, but I shouldn't have to worry about legitimate computers playing against me in regular Valve servers. Valve needs to fix their anti-cheat. Even if you don't actively play TF2, you've seen the artwork, the Gmod videos, the amazing Source Filmmaker shorts, a whole goddamn movie, all thanks to TF2. Unfortunately, Team Fortress has a neglectful father that is Valve. Share this around, especially if you love TF2, and especially if you love CS2 as well, or Left 4 Dead, or Left 4 Dead 2. We're in the same boat, brothers and sisters. We have to band together and make it known that Valve has been a shitty parent figure, a neglectful sack of sin for what they've done. They've got $1,000 and won't spend pennies to make everyone else happy. And here's something I do have to say. If you don't want to play and you don't want to participate, that's fine. Sit on the bench and maybe before you do that, grab some of those little pointy water cups and the water jug. It's game day come June 3rd, which I believe that's when I'm going to post this video. So I guess it's today. Let your team go up to bat. I don't see why we shouldn't at least make it known what we're trying to do. Share this around. Even the spaces that don't know what TF2 is, of course, don't harass people. But click the send button. In addition, I don't care if you have five subscribers and probably won't get more than 10 views. Make a video. That's 10 more eyes on this problem. Tweet hashtag fix TF2, hashtag save TF2. That's literally it. You don't have to do everything that everyone else is doing. I plan on releasing maybe some clips or some screenshots or whatever, right? Just something to show, but just go, go to your Twitter account with your 10, 20, 30 followers and hashtag fix TF2. Hashtag save TF2. Hell, hashtag fix CS2. Save CS2. Whatever game you play, right? That's having the same issues as TF2. Put it on every platform, Reddit, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, MySpace, print it out and put it on a goddamn telephone pole. Like posts, retweet posts with these hashtags. I love this game and so do you. Don't lose focus. The botting issue has come to a head. It's time to pop it. Keep the pressure on. This will blow up on June 03, 2024, but don't let it die down.